you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Joy in our camp tonight in Jesus' name. Joy in your heart. Joy in your family. The joy of salvation. The joy of healing. The joy of miracle. And the joy of the supernatural. It will happen in every life in Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name and we glorify you. How great you are. How wonderful you are. How loving and compassionate and merciful you are. You manifest your power. The power that never fails. And you give us reason for joy. We're asking, oh Lord, as we're here. We're praying that the power will work in every life again. In Jesus' name. Do wonders in every life. Here. At Yola, at Damawa stage, northeast of Nigeria, to the rest of the country, to the rest of the continent, and to the rest of the world, manifest the power that never fails. Confirm your word, your miracle, your salvation, your freedom in every life. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. We're coming to Acts of the Apostles. And we're looking at chapter 8. Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 5. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 8. Reading from verse 5. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria. And preached Christ unto them. That's what we have done. Instead of the city of Samaria now. We're in the city of Eola. I will preach here Christ, Christ the healer, Christ the savior, Christ the redeemer, and Christ the wonder worker. And tonight, as you hear of Christ, mighty to save, as you hear of Christ, mighty to deliver, as you hear of Christ, mighty to transform, he'll walk in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 6 there. It says in verse 6, And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. The people gave heed. They paid attention. Philip spoke about Christ. They paid attention. He spoke about the name, the name that saves. He, they paid attention. He, he spoke about what Christ has done and what Christ will do and what Christ will accomplish. And they paid attention and they applied that to themselves. It's not just for others. It's for me. It's for me. And as they paid attention like that, and they began to see miracles like you will see tonight. They began to see salvation as you will see tonight. The people that surrendered their lives and they gave themselves unto the Lord. It tells us in verse 7, it says in verse 7, from clean spirits and crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them. And many, not a few, many. Not just a small number, many taking with pulses, and that what lame were healed. Many tonight. Amen. Blind eyes opening, Amen. the lame rising up and walking, and the tumor that had been there for a long time, everything vanishing away today in Jesus' name. Uh, look at verse 8 in verse 8 it says and there was great joy great joy in that city and in this city of Yola there will be great joy you have the joy you carry the joy back home there was great joy why now what was Philip talking about that made them to have the joy of salvation the joy of healing, the joy of deliverance, the joy of liberation. 
emancipation what was he talking about look at verse 12 in verse 12 he tells us what philip was talking about the name the name above every name the name that conquers sin conquers satan conquers the grave conquers every evil power he was talking about the name but when they believed philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of god and the name of jesus they believe what philip declared what philip proclaimed of the kingdom of god how to get out of the kingdom of darkness and come to the kingdom of light how to come out of the kingdom of satan and come to the kingdom of his only begotten son the kingdom of the savior how to come from the kingdom natural to come to the kingdom supernatural he was preaching and proclaiming and giving exhortation on the kingdom of god and the name it said they were even baptized both men and women that's the name we're talking about tonight the exalted name with inexhaustible power possibilities the name the name the name of christ the savior the redeemer the healer the deliverer the transformer the one that takes our lives he removes us again he transforms our life the exalted name with inexhaustible power possibilities how do we link up with that name how do we hook up with that name how do we connect with that name so that as you connect with that name tonight salvation will come to you redemption will come to you and then as you connect how do we connect look at this luke chapter 24 i'm reading from verse 47 in luke chapter 24 verse 47 and that repentance and remission of sins shall be preached in his name repentance and remission of sins shall be preached and proclaimed in his name among all nations in our nation here in the nations surrounding us in the nations of africa in the nations of the west that repentance and the remission the forgiveness the cleansing the removal the freedom from sins shall be preached in that name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Look at Acts chapter 10, reading from verse 43. Acts chapter 10, verse 43 to him, the prophet's witness that through his name, through his name, the exalted name, the wonder walking name, the saving name, the name that comes to set us free, that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. Once again, the exalted name with inexhaustible power possibilities we're looking at three things before we pray look at number one the powerful name the powerful name number two is the prevailing name number three is the precious name number one the powerful name the name that has power to conquer everything and anything that is working against your life it will conquer sin in your life amen it will conquer sickness in your life it will conquer evil spirits in your life the powerful name that saves the worst of sinners whatever kind of sinner you are black sinner dark sinner yellow sinner deep sinner great sinner worst of sinners the name the name of jesus christ 
coming to you today will save the worst of sinners in Jesus name number two is the prevailing name that heals the worst of sicknesses any sickness you think about what's the sickness that comes to your mind that will fear and you say that's terrible i can bear other sicknesses but that one kills so and so and kills such and such the name comes to you today and penetrates your life prevails in your life that deadly sickness will be taken away today healed 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 you are going to be healed tonight in jesus name the prevailing name that heals the worst of sicknesses. Now, number three, the precious name that delivers from the worst of slavery. Slavery, slavery to Satan, and slavery to evil spirits, and slavery to occultism, and slavery to substance, and slavery to drugs, and slavery to anything you cannot deliver yourself from. That name is the precious name that delivers from the worst of slavery we're coming to number one number one is the powerful name that saves the worst of sinners matthew chapter one verse 21 it says and she shall bring forth a son a son a son like no other son since the time of adam a son like no other son son of god son from heaven son before the creation of the world son who overrules and he protects and he preserves the son that has the final say i want to tell you tonight jesus the son of god at the final say in your life yeah. sin will not have the final say you know sin comes along and it's driving driving you and you say let's go let's go and then you cannot stop it's like the place is slippery but the sun comes into your life and when the sun says stop sin will stop yeah. satan will stop yeah. suffering will stop the old serpent that came to the garden of Eden and said, Eat this, touch this, take this, and then they lost the glory of God. That old serpent, the sun, was stopping me your life today. She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name. I was waiting for you. Jesus. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus. J is the justifier. The justifier. A guilty man comes and then he says, Nothing in my hand I bring. I am guilty. What can I do? How can I do? And Jesus, the justifier, because of his sacrifice, your sins will be forgiven. Your guilt will be taken away. Your condemnation will be taken away. In Jesus' name, thou shalt call his name Jesus. He is the emancipator. He is the one that all the chains that bind you, all the cords that bind you, he comes to emancipate and to set you free. Free. I'm looking at you there free yeah. everything that binds you every chain that binds you everything that wants to destroy your life the Lord Jesus just a fire Jesus emancipator it will set you free today in Jesus name yeah. as a savior Adam could not save Cain could not even save Abel Adam could not save all the offspring because there's no salvation in any other. 
and Moses could not save the children of Israel it's God that said I have come down to deliver them Moses could not save the law could not save the only one that can save the son of God from heaven the Savior Jesus the justifier Jesus the emancipator and Jesus the Savior there is no other name Moses Aaron Joshua David Solomon there is no other name prophet priest high priest there is no other name apostle prophet there is no other name the name of any church there is no other name that can save Jesus is the Savior is Jesus J for justifier E for emancipator S for Savior you is the upholder of the whole universe if Jesus takes off his hand from upholding the earth the stars the moon the sun everything will collapse did you hear that as Moses lifted up the hand Joshua was defeating the Amalekites but as he let his hand down then Joshua was being defeated Israel would have been defeated but Jesus actually the Old Testament Joshua in the Greek is Jesus and Jesus is the upholder the upholder of the universe and the upholder of everyone that comes that's why he says without me you can do nothing but what Christ with you all things will be possible your life will be transformed sickness will be taken away oppression will be taken away and then when he gets you saved satan will say are you saved i'll come after you satan is a liar because jesus who saved you will also uphold you as is our sufficiency our sufficiency the justifier that's jesus emancipator that's jesus savior that's jesus upholder that's jesus our sufficiency in him we have all things he says the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy but i am come that's jesus talking that she might have life that she might have it more abundantly it's coming to you tonight you are having it tonight because she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins somebody shout amen look at Acts chapter 2 verse 21 Acts chapter 2 verse 21 remember the name and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name on the name it's the name whosoever here tonight whosoever there tonight whosoever in that other nation tonight whosoever anywhere you are tonight the worst of sinners a terrible sinner a darkened sinner a primitive sinner an habitual sinner a common sinner any kind of sinner you are tonight the lord has come to save you I said he has come to save you as you call on the name of the Lord whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved Satan cannot stop your salvation shall be saved men cannot stop your salvation shall be saved the salvation of the Lord is coming to you right now and as you call on him as you believe on him you are saved nothing can stop it have you ever thought about it that god says come and get something and it clears the way and it takes all the pebbles away and it takes all the hindrances away because when he calls you and you come all the hindrances are taken away that's why tonight as you come 
and say yes lord i want yes lord i desire let yes lord i pray save me salvation will drop on your heart right there we're coming to number two now number two we're looking at the prevailing name that heals the worst of sicknesses the name prevailing name that heals the worst of sicknesses you know sometimes when somebody is sick and the thing is getting bad bad getting worse and it becomes worse the fellow will say maybe i should even die if i die maybe i'll get out of this pain you will not die you will live the devil by sickness by suffering has pushed you and pushed you and pushed you to this point and he said he, he wants you to pronounce with your mouth you know he is the one in the authority that she you know, supervises death is the one that has the power of death but he wants you to invite him because it brings us sickness and things are down and you, you cannot sleep at night and then eventually you say death where are you i'm looking for you you can come now and satan is happy but before satan brings that death christ comes and intervenes in your life you will not die in the hospital there you will not die on that sick bed where you are you will not die my brother friend there your wife will not die my dear daughter sister there your husband will live he will not die because we have the prevailing name that heals the wars of sicknesses look at this acts chapter 3 and we're looking at verse 2 it says and a certain man lame from his mother's swamp from his mother's swamp from his mother's womb you know uh, when, when uh, I, i'm sure you've uh, you've been to the doctor before maybe once in your life for a few times in your life number one they say stick out your tongue and they look at your tongue and they can tell from the look of your tongue and from the coating of the of your tongue they can tell that they say they uh, that you are not well then they're going to ask an important question they say in your family your father your grandfather your mother your grandmother and the people in the life line of your family what sickness do they normally have if you say they have cancer it's okay if you say that you know father grandfather uh, had kidney disease and they say about your grandfather he has died now but before he died what uh, happened to him and you say he had arch attack heart failure they said okay because they know that you are, cause you are coming from the womb of your mother you also take what they are the high blood pressure the diabetes the tendency to that and the heart failure and the you know mental challenge all those things from the womb this man a certain man they covered his name for all they didn't tell his name because you know we don't like to tell the names of those who have terrible problems and they said from the mother's womb that she had had this problem whatever you had from your mother's womb tonight is that night to take it away god will take his pain in heaven and say cancer cancel that ulcer cancel that blindness for that man he's calling upon me he's looking up to me cancel blindness and that worst of sicknesses in your life in your body on your throat in your brain in your let me use the word esophagus anywhere anywhere it is the lord will take it away tonight in jesus name cancel my sickness sage Cancelled my disease, cancelled incurable condition, cancelled. It will happen tonight. A certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried 
which couldn't help himself, impotent. And then he says, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask arms of them that entered into the temple. Look at verse, uh, verse 3. It says, who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple? Asked an arms. Then in verse 4, it says in verse 4, and Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John and said, Look on us. <laughs> Let me stop there. Now, sometimes what I'm preaching, I'm looking at a particular man, a particular woman. I don't know why. Like Peter and John, fasting his eyes on him, and the person will shift his eye like this. How do you shift your eye? Because when my eyeballs meet your eyeballs, there'll be an explosion of miracle. You know, in uh, one of the services in Lagos, where I'm coming from, it was uh, during the time of prayer. And there was a sister, she was very sick, but I didn't know. And she was so weak, she managed to come to church. And while they were praying, everybody was standing. And then she stood, but she bent him, you know, her head on the seat in front of her. And I was wondering, how could, you know, we're praying and everybody's dynamic and all that. And this person just like that. And so I, what I did was I just tapped her on the shoulder. I was uh, saying, get up, you know, other people. I didn't talk, but that's what I meant. I just tapped her like this. As that tap came upon her, sickness vanished away. <laughs> a touch, a tap, a look, a word, and your disease is cancelled. <laughs> and when I say, check up yourself, the miracle is there already. And so Peter said, look on us. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, and he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Look at verse 6 there. In verse 6, then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. But the man did not talk like other people would. Okay, I'm looking for silver. I'm looking for gold. If you don't have silver and gold, please move on. And give chance to the people that have silver and gold. You must understand the word. It says silver and gold have I none. But I'm going to give you the strength, the health, the feet, the hands, the energy, and the enthusiasm, and the excitement that makes you to go and get silver and gold. If I give you silver and gold, you finish spending it. But now, I'm going to give you feet. I'm going to give you legs. I'm going to give you strength. It said, silver and gold have I none. You are going to have tonight something more than silver. Something more than gold. You're going to have the healing touch of the Lord tonight in Jesus' name. But such as I have, give I thee in the name that the name. That name has not lost its power. That name is still prevailing today and it will prevail over every challenge you have tonight in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Look at verse 7. In verse 7, and he took him by the hand. Why? The man had never walked, he was lame. From his mother swamp, and he didn't understand that instruction brought kind of confusion. I've never done that. And the man is telling me, rise up and walk. I cannot rise up by myself. They carried me here. I cannot move by myself. They always take me from place to place. And so Peter gave him a helping hand. And he just held his hand. He didn't force him. He didn't push him. 
didn't jerk him up just gave him a helping hand that's what ushers do that's what counselors do that's what uh, prayer partners do we give them a gentle helping hand they are lame they don't think they can walk they are paralyzed they don't think they can walk one leg is shorter than the other they don't think that it can grow out they are blind they don't think they can see they are deaf they don't think they can hear and we give them a gentle helping hand and it might be a watch you can do it the prayer has been made the name has been called on you and tonight you are well and then gently they get up as you're giving them the natural help the supernatural help will take over yeah. and then it says and immediately his feet and ankle bones receive strength look at verse h in verse h and he leaping up and watch he watched and he entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping. He didn't run home praising God. You'll praise God. Amen. You'll give your testimony. And when others are giving their testimony, you'll be allowed to rejoice with them in Jesus' name. Amen. You'll have testimony. I will have testimony. I will have testimony. The worst of sickness is healed. Look at verse 16. In verse 16, it says, and his name. Understand? And his name. Not the shouting of Peter, his name. And not the effort of Peter its name and it's not the background money that she beggar he didn't have any money not anything that he had done its name through faith in his name has made this man strong whom ye see and know yea the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all the lord is still doing it Amen. i said the lord is still doing it his name still prevails today over the worst of sicknesses uh, let me show you two people that have got this kind of miracle uh, there is um, you know this beloved sister mrs domini she was healed of six years of painful uh, near let, let her talk to you by herself sister domini you can come and talk to us and give your testimony my name is uh, i thank god for baba kumui to giving me this privilege to testify i was passing through pains for six years, I cannot do anything. So when I went to doctor, doctor said that this is anemia, of which I don't have money to go for operation. So as along the road that I was going to farm, I saw the this uh, poster that they told me that crusade is coming. So I now decided that I will go to the crusade so that I will have my miracle. So by God's grace. As this could say, come, I went there. So after the preaching, of our father in the law, Kumuhi, he said that we should raise our hands in whatsoever area that we are passing through pains. I now raise my hand on my stomach. So immediately I raised my hand. There, I raised one of my hands up. Lord, I pray everyone expecting their healing, expecting their miracle, expecting the deliverance, Lord. Grant unto them now in Jesus' name. I found it that that sickness that was troubling me for over six years now disappear, of which I did not see it again. I thank God today that I'm alive and the sickness did not take my life. God has done it for me. I'm so grateful. My prayer for Pastor Kumui is that God will use him to do this miracle should continue to empower him more anointing i thank god for what he has done and he has done for me you should also anywhere he went 
you should do it also for others in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anywhere we go, as God has done it for her, it's your turn. He will do it for you in Jesus' name. I told you two people, we have a beloved sister, Mrs. Cecilia. She'll tell you a story by herself. Cecilia, talk to us. They said, no, this is not church case. It's, you need surgical operation. Without that, you cannot survive. I I will survive. Say, Jesus is my doctor. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my testimony. Mm -hmm. I am Cecilia Apple. God has been so wonderful. For over 10 years, I've been urinating drug, kidney problem. Pain here and there, I'll go to hospital, we'll put blood, urinating, pains all over. Many, many places I've been to. The last one is that I should have operation. I said I will not have any operation. Jesus will operate me. And they said, no, this is not church case. It's, you need surgical operation. Without that, you cannot survive. I said, I will survive. Say, Jesus is my doctor. I am a poor. She's my wife. Five different hospitals, experts in surgery, they all recommended surgical operation. But my wife said, no, the master Jesus will operate her. In that June, the thing was so terrible. So bleeding pure blood, very lean. So we have to rush her to one of the best hospitals in town. Getting there, I have to pump blood into her first, then call the expert. The expert came, said there's no option on surgical operation. My wife said no. To compound the problem, my cousin had a son who is an expert, a surgeon. She said, Daddy, uncle, if you don't operate her, is 100% death sentence. My wife said, no, no operation. So I have to hire a doctor to come and be taking care of her in the, in the house. That very day of glory crusade, when the judge measure a uh, kidney pain. Kidney problem vanish away. Blood that is clotted, I command vanish away. From that day, I get my healing. Saturday morning, she had not excreted for a very long time. She said she wanted to go to the toilet, only to get to the toilet. She released the thing. Then Saturday evening, the doctor came. As she came, she said, Daddy, look at the urine bag. Look at the urine bag. It's clean, it's clean, it's clean. The urine was there, but very clean. You, you will look at the part, very, very clean. So since then, till now, the whole thing has been clean. And she has been excreting easily. And that problem ceased from that very day. And I want to appreciate God on behalf of the general superintendent. Uh, my sincere prayer is that God will prolong the life of our general superintendent so that God can use him the more to bless mankind. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Joy in the city. Amen. Joy in your life. Amen. Joy in your family. Amen. And joy everywhere. We're linking up with the word of God now in Jesus' name. Amen. It's a name. It's a name. It's the name of Jesus. And that name will work even in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Look at number three here. Number three, the precious name that delivers from the worst of slavery. Slavery. Any, you know, a slave, you remember during the slavery period in different parts of the world, if you've seen the slaves, it's like they take them, they chain them, and they chain their legs. And they change them one to the other. And then they were forcing them, dragging them. What could they do? They were in chains until the slave trade came to an end. 
physically, naturally, but tonight, spiritually, slave trade for you, for your family, and for all your loved ones, slave trade has come to an end. And the worst of slaves, slave to sin, slave to sickness, and slave to substance, and slave to marijuana, and straight slave to hard drugs, and slave to bad habit, slave to destructive behavior. Tonight, slavery cancelled yeah. by the exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name is exalted. Look at Philippians chapter 2. And I'm reading from verse 9. It says, Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. He has given Christ a name, Savior, above every other pretender, thinking that they can save. He has given him a name, Healer above every healer those little little healers doing something on the ground and they come from their shine and they burn some things like lizard and um, cockroach and they grind them together and then they put uh, you know some alligator pepper whatever i don't know what they use and then they try they say they are healers this is healer supernatural healer supreme a name above every name that at the mention of the name of jesus every knee shall bow yeah. cancer will bow yeah. tuberculosis will bow yeah. incurable disease will bow yeah. and all the things that hold you captive they will bow tonight yeah. because god himself has highly exalted him and he has given him a name which is above every name if you think of the name the doctor has told you the name of your sickness the name in the lungs the name of that thing impediment in your voice the name of that thing that covers your eyesight the name of that thing that disorganizes the cells in your brain the name of that thing that causes pain in your joint the name of that thing that makes your blood to clot the name of that thing that makes pain to run down in your spine whatever the name the name of jesus is above them all and the lower name will bow the lower substance will bow the lower suffering will bow when christ the savior the healer comes to reign in your life all those things will flee away in your life in jesus name look at verse 10 in verse 10 that at the name of jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven things on earth and things under the earth and then in verse 11 it says and that every tongue should confess every tongue should confess by faith by acceptance by owning it and saying what christ did on the cross of calvary he did for me and as you confess that he died for me he sacrificed for me he paid the price for me he grants me salvation as you confess in your mouth there will be confirmation from heaven Amen. you'll get saved tonight you'll be forgiven tonight your life will turn around tonight and all the guilt and all the condemnation as you mentioned the name of jesus and you say he is my savior now immediately salvation will come yeah. as you confess him tonight he is my healer i've taken this problem here and there and there and i could not be healed now 
you have come to the place of solution Amen. solution ground Amen. solution ground Amen. whatever the challenge whatever the sickness whatever the infirmity you have heard from other people how the lord delivered them your deliverance has come Amen. and as you confess that jesus is your savior jesus is your healer and jesus is your deliverer to the glory of god the father all your problems that you brought here will be solved tonight in jesus name Amen. online brothers and sisters men and women any nation every nation where you are the precious name is available for you to deliver you from the worst of slavery and now he tells us in luke chapter 4 reading from verse 18 luke chapter 4 it's reading we're reading from verse 18 it says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel the good news the glad tidings to the poor he has sent me to heal the broken hearted tonight is your night and to preach deliverance to the captives to those who are in slavery tonight you are set free and the recovering of sight to the blind and to search at liberty them that are bruised look at verse 19 and to preach and to proclaim and to publicize the acceptable year of the Lord in verse 20 and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and he sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue they were fastened on him Savior they looked at him for salvation. Healer, they looked at him for healing. Deliverer, they looked at him for deliverance. Verse 21, and he said, he began to say unto them, this day, this day, Amen. this day, Amen. your salvation, Amen. your healing, Amen. your deliverance, Amen your emancipation Amen. this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears Amen. congratulations this is your day Amen. he'll take all your sin away Amen. this is your day he'll take the worst of sicknesses take everything away Amen. Praise the Lord. This is your day that will set you free from total slavery in Jesus' name. Amen. Heaven is ready. Are you ready? Amen. God is ready. Are you ready? Amen. Christ, Savior, Healer, Deliverer is ready for you. Are you ready? Amen. It's bowed and eyes closed. You want this name to work for you precious name prevailing name powerful name to take your sins away to forgive you and to give you this great salvation wherever you are you raise up your hand god bless you amen amen god bless you there salvation has come forgiveness has come praise the lord freedom has come he will write your name in the book of life in heaven raise up that hand very well you're raising up your hand please stand up you're raising up your hand and you say i believe in that name i accept that name i put my trust i put my confidence in that name raise up your hand and stand up wherever you are because that forgiveness is coming now and it says whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved this is your day don't let the day pass you by don't let this time pass you by raise up that hand raise up that hand and stand up and as you're standing up your confidence, your trust, your faith is in the name. No other name can save. No other name has been given us 
under the skies, under heaven, by which we can be saved, by which we can get to heaven, but the name of Jesus. You're raising up your hand here at the Alpha location, the Yola, or in any other congregation, any other community, any country, wherever you are, or you are by yourself, or you are by the radio or television, anywhere you want that salvation given to us by the name of the Lord. You raise up your hand and you stand up. And while you are standing, say, Lord, I thank you for Jesus, your only begotten Son, who was given so that I can be saved. My sins can be forgiven. I accept the forgiveness. I believe in Christ my Savior. And I have now the salvation of the Lord. I'm praying for you now. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you because you have exalted your only begotten Son, Jesus, to be the Savior of the whole world. And these here, and over there, over the radio, television, and in the social media, they have indicated that they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be their Savior. Confirm that salvation in their heart, in their lives, right now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Take their condemnation away. Take the guilt away. And let the joy of salvation and the peace of salvation and the victory that comes with salvation come upon them now and confirm the salvation in every heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord you're saved praise the lord your sins are forgiven our counselors are there members of the choir counselors workers they are there they relate interact with you they'll show you what to feel in that sleep please do it honestly and truthfully it will help us to help you further god bless you we call on our moderating overseer tonight to help us in this uh, counseling period. I welcome you to the family of God tonight. This is the beginning of the greatest life you can ever live on earth. This is the beginning of the greatest experience you can ever have with God. The door is now open for you to be a child of God, to have access to the throne of heaven. Please be faithful. Just like a pastor has said, give your correct name, give your correct telephone number, give your correct address, so that I can be able to help you further to live victoriously. You are stepping into a marriage measure of God's blessings. In the terrible treasure of God's blessings, oh, the angels in heaven are rejoicing. As I've opened up your heart and you are submitted to the Lord, the angels in heaven are rejoicing. The angels in heaven are singing that you have come back home. Your life will experience a new thing from today. Cancel us. Please make sure you get to everywhere at the back there, including the language session. Please make sure you get there and write down their names. Write in a very bold manner. Capitals, if possible. Make it legible. Make it legible. If the, brethren, if the people can write, you can give them the slip so they can feel on their own so they can be faster. But before you collect from them, make sure you check to make sure that the names are properly written, the telephone numbers are properly written, the address are properly written. Let's get to everybody. 
you have caused heaven to rejoice today. You are making the angels in heaven to be rejoicing in the presence of God for opening up your heart unto the Lord. That's the greatest miracle one can ever experience in life. You are now a child of God. You are now a saint, not a sinner. What a change of name. What a glorious name the Lord has given to you tonight. Those who gave their life to Christ online, you will see a telephone number put there. And you see also a link there. Just tap on that link and something will pop up. You fill your name correctly, fill your telephone number correctly, and then we'll be able to respond to you. And you'll be hearing from us. You'll be receiving materials to help you to grow, to develop. Please take your, take your barrel wherever you are and write down this number. If you are watching us online, plus 234, either on radio, television, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, write down this telephone number, plus 234, 915-444-9263. I take it again. Plus 234 915 Can Counselors, let me fast. Because tonight, you are going to see power explosion. I say, you are going to see power explosion. You are going to see naked miracles with your own eyes. You will see the lame rising. If there's any blind person you brought to this city, he's not going back blind. He's going back, see with the two eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. All the online brethren who are just giving your, your, your life to the, to the Lord Jesus Christ, please make sure you send in your name, your address. And also your telephone number and your details. To so this particular number, I'm going to call again to you now. Plus 234 915 444 9263. I'm going to take it again. Plus 234 915 444 92. C3. And remember to give them that package as soon as they give you their names and you collect the seed from them. Cancel us, let me fast. If you are not be attended to, please raise up your hand so that cancel us can reach you immediately. Please it also that the counselors can see you and attend to you immediately. And as you are waiting, be full of expectations. Because God is going to do wonders tonight. He is going to do wonders in your life tonight. Remember what the servant of God said? What our Father and the Lord said? Yes, it may not be able to get to you and tap you. But just a look. Just looking at him, you have received your own miracle. I thought you would say amen. amen. I want a louder amen. amen. Just a word. A word. <laughs> Listen to all those testimonies. They said, he prayed. They obeyed. Touch wherever he's paying you. In obedience, they touch. Just a word. A word. Why? Because of what I've been told tonight, there is a name that's above every other name. That name is above every other sickness. Once he pronounces that authority in the name of Jesus Christ, once he gives that decree tonight, 
all your sicknesses, all your ailments, all your diseases, they are, they are gone. I said they are gone. I said they are gone. Just wait. You will see tonight. If you are not believing miracles, tonight you will see one. I said tonight you will see one. And you will testify. Counselors, have you finished? My right hand side. If you are finished, can I see? Can, can somebody wave to me there that you are finished? Okay, in the hall before me now. Okay. My left hand side there. Is there anybody here to be attended to? Okay, be ready now. Our pastor. The appointed servant of God. With the anointing of God. With the usher of God upon him. He's coming now to issue authority. Over that sickness. Over that ailment. And those sicknesses will vanish away tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. The name. The name above every name. The name that heals the worst of sicknesses. The name that delivers from the worst of slavery. That name will work in your life. Yeah. You've heard, you've seen other people just have the mention of the name and then we'll pray and we'll say the final amen and the miracle comes upon them. Your miracle has come tonight. Yeah. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. You mention your problem. Mention it now. Just shout it out loud. Shout it out loud. Your problem. What you want me to pray about. I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, over there. What's your problem? Say it out. Again. Again. It is now. Father, in Jesus' name. The God of all power. The God who is faithful. The God who is our joy. Lord, I pray tonight, everywhere, from every heart, there will be joy in Jesus' name. We come and we only remember the name of Christ, our Savior. Christ, our healer. Christ, our deliverer. Amen. We forget every other name. Amen. Every other name will come under the powerful, prevailing authority of the name of Jesus. Amen. And so therefore now we pray every sickness vanish away. Amen. Blindness vanish away. Amen. Deafness vanish away. Yeah. Dumb tongues be loosed. Yeah. Insanity be healed. Yeah. Goiter, hunchback, swollen tummy, yeah. ania, yeah. elephantiasis, yeah. come out in Jesus' name. Yeah. Cancer. Ulcer, Amen. kidney failure, Amen. issue of blood, Amen. pile, Amen. skin cancer, Amen. skin disease, Amen. heart attack, Amen. sugar diabetes, Amen. be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Arthritis, Amen. polio, Amen. short leg. Amen. With that hand, lameness be healed in Jesus' name. Tormenting spirit, suffering, 
old serpent and all the evil and the pain I command you come out in Jesus name on everyone now I pronounce healing on everyone I pronounce deliverance on everyone I pronounce miracle on everyone here, there, everywhere, online and alpha location, signs and wonders, in Jesus' name. Confirmation in your life. Operation of the Spirit in your life. It is done. Manifestation. Visible that you will see. Lord, confirm it in every life. In Jesus' name I pray. It is done. I said it is done. Check up yourself. You see the miracle there. Check up, check.